What's up, everybody? I think there's only a few people here right now, but that's cool. Just thought I'd try this again today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing because Brad Westfall on Twitter just said, oh no, he's doing influencer face. Say, I learned from the best. I got to tag Theo. <coughs> it's going good. Going good. I'm honestly, I'm like feeling pretty good today. It was the first day that I felt pretty okay. Um, mostly because... I'm not positive because I never took a test since probably too late, but I swear I had COVID and it was just like so sucky. I hated it. Um, anyways, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be back being able to just focus and do some fun stuff. Um, yeah, so I figured I, I'm just going to be working on some random things today. Um, I'm heading back into the office tomorrow uh, to kind of come back from nuclear winter and sickness and everything get back into nozzle stuff so today's going to be kind of my cleanup day and just make sure that things with the router are on good track um, yeah that's what we're going to be doing so I've got chat open feel free to chat whatever you want um, hopefully I don't get taken down if I play some music or something in the background here but listen to some Utah all right <clears throat> so it's doing influencer face it's funny sounds good all right so I'm going to let's see options Here we go. Keep my Discord over there. Gotta keep my messages over there. Gotta keep my mail over there. And I probably need to keep my Slack over there. That's good enough for now. <clears throat> so, this thing that I was working on right here was uh, just a little issue where somebody was like, oh, you know what, I, the new stuff that I did for the importer, or for the uh, TSR CLI was creating some imports they didn't want. So that's kind of what I'm wrapping up right now. Um, I'm also in the Discord, the Tanstack Discord, if you wanna, if you wanna hang out there. Actually, I'm just gonna post my little stream right there. All right, so he says, oh, it's generating some unused imports. And I was like, okay, let's check that out. So it looks like it was um, file route, lazy route, and lazy route component. Um, we don't need those unless specific things are happening. So I put in some conditions here to make sure we're only um, going to import those. I did an object entries filter map back to the key. So if we have the imports, we chuck them in there. And now I gotta test it out. So I can't remember which one I'm on. Basic file based code splitting. Basic file based code splitting. Better bump that a little bit for anybody who's watching, but I don't need to go too big. Should be streaming in 4K now. <laughs> Let's see. I've got a friend here. He wants me to make a server side library, like a routing library. That would be interesting, but I don't really know the first thing about doing server side stuff. So I just don't know if that would be a good idea right now. Mm -mm. Probably not.
Yeah, I need to add maintainer stuff to Discord too. All right, so inside of here, what's happening is route tree.gen. So it should be getting these because we are using file route <clears throat> lazy function and lazy route component. Um, but if I were to take away this loader right here, technically this shouldn't be using let's see lazy function I guess it's still using lazy function because of this loader right here so if I get rid of that one too now route tree.gen shouldn't have lazy function and it shouldn't rely on it if we take away the component and this component we should also get rid of that lazy route component because we don't need that and it got rid of the route import so let's bring back that that is going to let's see let's get rid of that and that and that and that and that, and that, and that. so that should bring back the file route because now we have to create kind of this it's like a virtual route. Hey Tanner, trying to build a little template with router, TSR, TSR, TRPC. Any chance you have an SSR example with React Query for the router? I do not have one yet. I haven't focused too much on the SSR stuff. Um, but feel free to ping me in Discord with any questions or, or ping um, Manuel Schiller. He's also probably a good resource on Discord. Um, Okay, so that seems like it's going good. This has no posts because we have to undo the loader stuff again. So you bring all of that back. And now we're back to normal. Okay. So, generator. That should be able to fix it. So, not that yet, not that yet. Nothing there. Okay, generator. Yes. And so if I get rid of that, then route tree should go back to being normal. <laughs> nice. It's awesome. The file watching stuff is really cool. What's the name of IMVS code theme? Theme. Monokai. One dark vivid. There you go. That's the name of the theme. All right. So. Manuel's got some Let's see. Oh no, I already responded to that one. Okay. So that's a fun little issue. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna mark that as fixed right now. All right. So fix only import stuff that's needed in the router CLI route jet file. Fixes number that. Fixed. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna look at some of these, but I'm in the middle of something right now on the router. So what I've been what I've been doing is I've been taking this. Um, I took this. Uh, <clears throat> Where is it? I took this uh, Vite plugin that Benton had created. Um, really cool. And I'm bringing it, bringing it into the library. Um, 
kind of as a first class thing. So it's going to be under uh, router Vite plugin. And I'm pretty sure I got it building. Um, I just had to check the types on it. So the package, and the package is being set to, okay, so build CJS UMD index production. Well, we don't have that for whatever reason. Packages, React Router. What is this? isn't the router is it I'm not sure what this is oh just like some utilities that we're bringing in is it really bringing in react that's ridiculous let's go back to the config externals yeah we want all of those and we want globals No, we can do ESN. Probably UMD is probably not going to be worth it, but hello, Tanner. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you too. Hello, Mr. Tanstack. Never ever call me that. That just sounds weird. Just updated a largish app from Beta 191 to the latest version of Tanstack Router. Sweet. That sounds awesome. I hope it went well. All right, so it looks like we're building a few more things now. No? Let's get rid of that. Save. Here we go. Default is not exported by FS Extra. Config DS. Default is not exported. Well, that makes sense. Do you work now? Read JSON is not exported. Yeah, right. How about now? Oh my good golly, come on. Okay, this is why I hate doing... I've, I haven't moved on to the ESM stuff yet, and I need to. I need to just go all ESM. Um, but I'm not going to do that yet. All right, I gotta undo what I just did. Just if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, we plug in build. I'm just doing CJS. Is it not working with ESN? That really bugs. Let's just get rid of these. Let's just do it all. No. Okay. Roll up air. It's a Vite plugin. 
How do you package for a V plugin? Somebody said, love your stuff. Any tips on how to migrate from React Router? You know, I wish there was a migration path, but there's not because like if there was a migration path from React Router, that means I wouldn't have built my router. So like migration means just changing the way you write it because you have to write you have to write your routing primitives in a different way to get the type safety. You can't like just backport it. And you can't just like migrate. The best way to migrate is just like look at the examples and say, okay, this is how my routes are set up. I'm gonna move them into the example that looks closest to mine. And then call it a day. You're gonna have to write code. You're gonna have to rewrite some things. You shouldn't have to rewrite components or anything like that. Um, entire components. You'll have to rewrite some of your. You'll have to change out some of your APIs. But I mean, it's still just a router. It works generally the same way that React Router did under the hood. But you know, theoretically, it works the same way. So I never. I'm never sure what to say. Like there. I think what people are really asking is, is there a migration guide from React Router? And the answer is no. I, I don't really want to write that right now. I mean, there should be. Somebody will probably write it eventually. I just don't have time to do that right now. All right, I'm going to turn CJS off and UMD off. Get rid of all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Default's not exported. I get it. That's imported by router CLI source config. So So what it's telling me is that the config file here, fs extra doesn't even, okay, do I have to do a star as, is that what I need to do? Okay, fine. Use sync external store with selectors not exported by node modules, use sync external store, imported by react store. I hate this use sync external store import business. We ran into the same thing with React Router a long time ago and I forgot how to fix it. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, Isaac said, lots of exciting stuff, but I'm not sure if it's feasible for my team to switch. That's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking people to switch if they don't want to. I had all my routes, let's see. Somebody said, I had all my routes for a module and file from where I joined them up, but I moved them to the same file as the pages they were for because of the changes with use, use frames. Yeah, you can do either. I, I made sure that you could, you, it would be possible to do either. So. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> All right, I don't know about this use sync external store with selector business going on. Took my weekend off to migrate to the router. Nice. Let's see, imported by React Store. I'm not sure why I'm even seeing this error. To be honest, I just gotta like externalize all this stuff. Oh, the whole week? Ah, yeah, that's a little more time off. 
and just weekend isn't really time off so I was like what all right still not getting it I swear somewhere in my package I had like yeah resolutions using external store probably need it in here too to be honest Let's just P and I just to be safe. <laughs> Looking into building a new starter template for our ecom agency, being a fan of Tansy Aquarium, I have to look into this. Yeah. Yeah, look into it. It's cool. It's so darn nice to create reusable server controlled table primitives with Tanstack Router. That's how I always sell people on it. Yeah, that's exactly why I built it. <laughs> totally agree. All right, still getting this dumb air. I'm not even importing that in this package. It's a Veet plugin for crying out loud. I'm just, this is it. So all I'm doing is I'm importing some generator, some config. So this generator does import these two things from React Router, from Tansec Router. That's it. Config is importing from there. So. Like, it shouldn't be importing all of the things. Shouldn't need all of them. Stack router. Let's look at package dependencies. I guess technically it relies on React Router. Technically. All right, so I'll PNI. <laughs> Somebody says, is there a good way to remove a value from search params if it is default? It's <laughs> a good question. Um, no, I, I mean, not out of the box. I have some I have some hooks and some utilities that I've written in Nozzle to uh, <clears throat> to manage really, really complex search params, like search params that are like, okay, keep these in the URL, like if I need them, put them in the URL and keep them there. If I don't need them, cache their last value and key that based on dependencies of workspace and project and team and like store them in local storage so that if I come back to a search param that I've never, like that I don't have in the URL but I need in the URL, uh, then it can pull it out based on context and based on like a cache key and say, oh yeah, this was the last one you had. So like as you switched around teams, it will remember like the metrics you were looking at. And as you switch around project or switch around workspaces, it will remember like which project you had selected and whatnot. So I have some of those primitives written, but they're not ready for release yet. But they can do stuff like that where like if it's the default value, remove it from the URL. Um, for now, that's something you still have to do in user land. Not a big deal, but I might get around to publishing those someday. <sighs> Yeah, you look at Nozzle and you're like, yeah, it makes sense. It's so true. <coughs> All right. What's going on here? Still the same thing. Default, not exported. God, this is so lame. The end of. Okay, I already fixed that. Right? Config. TS. 
right there. Default is not exported by FS Extra, imported by Generator. Oh, am I doing the same thing in Generator? Yeah, I am. That's fine. Hi, am I on Twitch? I can't find your username. Uh, maybe I'm on Twitch. Let's see. Twitch.tv slash Tanner Lindsley. There I am. There I am. Right there. Look how much I have on here. Wow. Probably not worth following this guy on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't. Someday I'll figure out how to stream to everything. But is Nozzle built with Tailwind? Yes, I use Tailwind at Nozzle. <clears throat> yes, it is. Tailwind and Tailwind Merge. Don't kill me. I'm just merging class names at Nozzle, and guess what? It's fantastic. Love it. So, let's see. Did that fix the issue? Ooh. Read JSON is not exported by index. Well, where is that? Config. Are you sure? Because when I hit period and type in read JSON, it says it is. What are you guys using for daytime pickers? You know, for really simple situations, I'm just using the input equals date. Uh, but, but I do have a date picker like for date ranges that can actually do multiple date ranges at the same time. Um, and I thought about open sourcing it. Maybe I'll do that this year. Can I or should I use Tanstack router instead of Next.js router? I mean, if you're using Next, it probably means you need Next for um, server-side stuff. So I can't, I can't say that you should switch it unless I understood the nature of your application. You can use Tanstack Router in Next though. You can just like assign it to, you know, one, a, a route, a catch-all route, and put the base path in there. So you can do that. The Tailwind Merge is bad crowd lacks realism, I feel. Design system purity isn't that useful in an app. It's so true, and I love hearing that from you, Maple, because design system purity is like, doesn't make sense for people who are just creating new things all the time and getting stuff done and shipping things. Like, having good primitives is great. And like, I have, I have buttons and cards and different UI elements uh, all over the place in Nozzle, and all they're doing is saying, here's some Tailwind base classes, right? And you can pass more classes if you want, and then Tailwind Merge just lets you overwrite what you want to overwrite. And I don't get into variants or type variants. If there's things that need to be that exact, then I'm just building another reusable component for it instead of embedding a bunch of typed options into a component. So I, I don't know, I just feel like you can get a lot out of just classes and Tailwind and and components, you know? Like there's a reason that Tailwind doesn't ship with like a component kind of a system built right in because you just do that in your UI library, I feel. So that's enough of my rant on Tailwind. I, I love Tailwind and that's how I use it. And that's just like, it is what it is. Nobody can shame me into changing either. So Maple says, yeah, pretty much. It's impossible to predict all the ways how I'll use a thing and making new variants all the time for just adding one or two or one or two off, one off classes is exhausting. Amen, amen. In fact, let's just go over and look at like, if we come over here to Nozzle, just open up anything. Let, let's look up, uh, let's see, clusters control. 
Clusters control. This is some component I have for controlling the clusters and that we have and some clustering stuff that we did. Um, somewhere in here, there's going to be some tailwind. Class name. And there will be tail, there'll be class names just on other components. So like, okay, here, button plane. You know, <laughs> so, so like this button, this button plane, like check out this button plane. All it does is, is it's like, I, I actually have some cool stuff in here to determine whether the text should be dark or light um, based on you know, some naive uh, text matching. It's actually really nice. But then it's like, hey, by the way, here's all just kind of the regular button classes that I have. Like, that's it. And then I'm using Tailwind Merge, and I can just pass anything I want on top of class name, and that's it. And so it's like, I don't have to have all these variants for colors. Like, Tailwind already did that for me. They already gave me a color palette. And I'm a developer, and I'm a, I'm a designer, and I'm a big boy, and I can decide if I want to have a button a specific color or not. So instead of having it default to the BG Blue 500 that is in the button plane, I just say class name BG Gray 500. Boom, there it is. I don't need to talk anymore about this because I'm probably preaching to the choir. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Let's get back to this problem. Read JSON is not exported by FS Extra. Well, what the heck am I supposed to do? Read JSON. FS Extra lib index. Does that not even, does it not exist anymore? It can't be that. FS Extra. Read JSON. <laughs> Danny's here. What's up, Danny? Constantine H says hello. Hello, Constantine. Node FS extra. Read JSON. Is this deprecated for some reason? Like what? Oh, yeah. Shoot. Looks like somebody on the dark web found my password. I need to just update that sucker to... Uh... to one of my um, generated passwords. Believe it or not, GitHub is like... one of the oldest internet accounts I have. No, there's no way I could be a Theo. He. I just, nobody can do that as good as he can. That's fine. Because Theo will go on the offensive about about things, and I don't need to. I just don't even need to be defensive either. I'm just like, no, this is what I use, and it's just what I use. And if you don't like it, that's cool. And if you like it, whatever. It's just, I couldn't be more indifferent about certain things. It's like, if it helps me get my job done, then great. That's it. All right. Let's see. is going on with my keyboard. All right. Sorry, I'm just, uh... 
updating my password because you know that's what you do when you're live streaming and GitHub warns you that your password just got found take no chances Let's see, hang on a second. I'm gonna put you on the loading screen. baby just had to get rid of that stupid warning yay let's see <clears throat> Theo is one of the youtubers of all time I'm not sure that means how about creating drama I, don't, I hope I don't create drama that's stupid I don't know who Theo guy is just wonder if you're on twitch no I'm not on twitch sorry me want more drama oh you should watch TV then Eventually you just get tired of drama. Yeah, you do because at the end of the day you just at the end of the day You know what people care about they care about getting their job done impressing their boss impressing their wife and family uh, Doing fun things with their families or with their friends making enough money to do those fun things and just eliminating stress and eliminating anything that does not bring peace to one's life That's really what people care about so, I don't know. Those are the things that I care about. I'm just like, what can I do that will give me more peace and free time with my family to do the things that I love? And it just so happens that programming and, you know, solving, solving coding puzzles is a good way to make money to do that. So, Maple Leaf says, just feels gross being mad at people. I agree. I don't really get mad at people. I just, there's no use. Whoa, this is a little nifty animation. Yeah, it is. It is cool. I found it on Pexels.com. But drama is the fuel of the JS community. Production value. Love it. You guys are fun to chat with. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with this node FS extra garbage. So here's what we're going to do. FS. Let's see. We're just going to do read file, right? And instead of this garbage, we're going to do read file. What is this? Oh, because it needs encoding, right? I think it's just UTF-8, right? Are those the same? I wouldn't know. Cannot find config file path JSON M. There it is. Argument of type string is not a parameter assignable to type data buffer. Read file. I just just stop. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Encoding. UTF-8. Encoding does not exist? What? God, I just don't know server-side stuff, you guys. Is it because read file, what is read file is not async? What is this? Read file sync? That sounds bad to just read a file sync. But I guess we could do that. Does it work better if I do that? Does TypeScript not give me all this garbage? Read file sync. Then you know what I can do? I can just do JSON parse. Okay. 
and then you know what I can do I don't even need to do as unknown I just do it inside of here which is the whole point of JSON schema of like Zod now I'm not doing any of that garbage so now the generator what am I doing here is it gonna give me the same garbage No. Oh, yep. Read directory is not supported by. Is not exported. It's so bull. What are you talking about? I was just. I'm using all of these. It's a warning. Is it a warning or missing exports? What is that even talking about? Console log fs. I mean, like, it's. I know it's there. I've been using it. Oh, look. It's all there. All of it. So stupid. What's going on here? I'm just going to ignore that. I'm going to ignore it for now because it's just getting in my way. Okay, so I'm going to assume that that means that, uh, that this stuff is just here. So let's see, in ESM it's just index, but for whatever reason in the build CJS it's under packages the plugin index module okay browser did I even do a UMD I did not but if somebody tries to use it in the browser I guess they can just try and get that file types build types build types perfect okay so now we need to try this out Let's see. Trauma is only fun when it isn't in your core community when you can just watch from a distance. Totally. Need import from SF Promises. Ooh. Well, this is FS Extra. It's a little different. A little different. Okay, so now let's go back. Uh, I've got GitHub router samples react basic code splitting. Okay, so now inside of code splitting package instead of the router CLI now we're going to do router vite plugin and this is probably going to wig out so we're going to do workspace star then inside of our vite we're going to do router import from oh yeah we need a P and I there's two slashes after CJS is there Thank you very much. It's wonderful. All right. So that should have 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay. P and dev. So that means inside here we should get something. Export router as default. Eh, I don't want that. V plugin source index. Export default. I just don't like default exports, so we're gonna do this. Tense deck router. Hi, hello. Do you need something? Do you need something from me? No? Okay. I just think I, f I feel better about calling it tan stack router. V plugin tan stack router. Hello. Personal space. Personal space. <clears throat> Thank you. And stack router. All right. Clearly, my dog needs my attention for something, so I'll be back in just a second. back I'm back I'm back music is a bit high during the pause screen is it is it okay let me turn down how about that Probably a little bit better. Turn the pause screen a little bit. Pause screen. Say hello to my friend Ferrero Rocher. I don't know why neighbors like to give these as holiday gifts, but they do. They're just like, you know what? I'd like to cop out of of the holiday gift exchange. So here's a box of Ferrero Rocher. Not that it's bad, but kind of a cop out. Who is this talking in here? I don't know what that message was, but it was off topic. And it was just giving me like, kind of like inappropriate vibes. So, hidden. Alright, back.
back to business. Tab stack router. So is this doing, okay, there, it's all there. It should just be reading from my config. We'll see what happens. Hmm, okay, fun. DSR, command not found. Well, that makes total sense because I'm not using it anymore. So I should probably get rid of that. Does that does that mean that uh, Vt plugin is so? Is this going to run in development too? Mm -hmm. Config resolve generate. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Chewing. Mm-hmm. Tamstack bling. That doesn't really exist anymore. Bling isn't really a thing anymore. Everybody decided to go a different direction. Which is fine. Okay, so we got that taken care of. So we don't even need TSR generate during in production either. So <clears throat> I don't think he's a bot. I just think he thought he was trying to be funny, but it actually was inappropriate. Now my dog wants to be let back in. Be right back. That's where you saw bling. Oh, I didn't realize that's where you saw bling. It's fine. Yeah, bling's not really a thing anymore. That's fine. Okay, so failed to resolve entry for a package. Router Vite plugin. You may have incorrect exports. Doubt it. Hmm. Build CGS packages. Whoa, what the heck just happened? weird. Okay. CJS packages. No, that's totally right. Did I already write that? I think now I can't remember. So <clears throat> it's under CJS packages router plugin index such as
Okay, so yes, I'm using Tansac router in production. Yes, I am. All right. Plugin externalize in depths was triggered by this plugin. Hmm. Neat plugin bundling. Well, I'm pretty sure, I mean, like, there's code there. It's got to be able to understand it. So, we'll come here and it's like, oh yeah, Tansac router. Run config. Build. So, like, what does this look like? Exports default equals a router? No, it's not the default export. Seems like there's some outdated stuff in there. Basic info code splits. Packages, React Router, CLI, Dev Tools, Build, ESM. Oh, yeah, because I disabled the uh, wave config. Yeah, because I disabled CJS and UMD. I think that makes sense. Maybe I don't need to disable CJS anymore. Let's try that one. <laughs> I definitely feel influenced. Alright, whatever. Okay. Cannot resolve entry for package at Tensec Router V plugin. Cannot resolve the entry. Well, node modules at Tensec Router V plugin is going straight there. Package says Bill ESM Index Main CGS Packages, Router View Plugin, Index. It's really weird. Not totally sure what to do next here. <clears throat> hey, 
hey GPT what do you think about this error it's gonna say well it appears that it can't resolve the package for at tansac router v plugin you should make sure that the version is right in your package and you should is there a source missing in the path a source missing in the path maybe no no let's just test this out here what if we if we come to here and we go to package which is it using main or browser or module like do we know do we even know which one of those it's using main is that one is that what is that what Vite is going to try and use here so like if I just get rid of these and just do main right cannot resolve can it resolve anything okay so the CGS build of Vita Node API is deprecated import path so this is because I'm doing uh, gonna import okay so that means that build if what if I just like paste this in yeah I mean like main build CJS packages router v plugin oh source dude yes freaking VS code had that popped up into that same line huh oh that little punk yes excellent excellent okay code splitting main told you yeah <laughs> you're right thank you all right, so it says that right out of the gate. Generating routes, process seven routes, be ready. Great, great. Okay, so V plugin index. So it generates, and then it handles hot updates when things update. I mean, I'm saving main here, but it's not doing anything. But that's because it's not inside of the routes. So what if I come in here and hit save? Wheat. This is why you don't use source folder? Nah, get out of here. You can use source folder all you want. This is why you're not an idiot like me. That's why. Okay. Well, this is awesome. Benton got it right. Explorer compact folder is false. Yep. I should probably do that. Let's see. Explorer. What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, let's see. What was that? Compact folders. False. Yeah, get those out of here. Nice. Nice. Okay, so it's working. Let's check out. Let's make sure that it's actually generating correctly. So, uh,. No, crap. Look closed. One. Let's bring this over here for y'all to see. 
It looks like it's working, so... This is sweet. So I got my TSR config. I don't have to run anything anymore. It's just Vite. It's just like a Vite plugin now. Very, very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so the route tree gen here. So what if I, what if I were just to come, what if I just did this layout here, come into this layout, and instead of doing that, I could actually just change this to layout.component, export cons component, import star as react. Oh, I forgot my links. Eh, should have brought those over there. layout A. So let's take a look at why this isn't uh, so it's now it's because we don't have a layout we don't have anything else just a layout component it's creating the route for us and then it's updating it here with the lazy route component very cool um, two it's not assignable. And why is that? Layout A is not assignable to these. Because it's not picking up the layout route. And the route tree gen. Layout component import. Layout component route. Oh. Post component route and layout component route, so you know what's happening here. Actually, I don't know. We have unstable code splitting on, so um, what's happening is it's not getting put into. Everything is just being done flat, and that's totally wrong. Totally wrong. If we come here, yeah, see. What happened to that? And why? Post, yeah, these are all supposed to be nested. So something is jacked up. Like if we come in here and look at uh, our route tree. Let's see. Routes by path. Okay, yeah, all the path stuff will be there. But there's no layouts. Flat routes. Parent route route. Yeah, see? Or like this one. Parent route route true. Yeah, see? That's not even... So we totally busted something. All right, so we gotta we gotta debug this. Okay, so this is in. Hold on, now just to see. Let's get all this. Uh, yes. Yes. Sure. Mm hmm. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Have to see like generator. Sure. Sure. Okay. This right here. So that means I shipped this. Not good, not good. Okay, so actually, you know, we need, we need to check out is, um, so if I come here, stop this, redo it, routetree.gen, it's not there. Question is, if I 
turn this off. Does it change back? No, it doth not. Not good, not good. Okay, here's another way to test it. Let's go up to CD file based. Basic. BN dev. Okay. Basic route tree. Basic file based. Got that one right. Right? We're in basic file based. And uh, it's all good. I'm going to come in here and turn on future. Uh, what was it? Unstable code splitting true. Still good. But that's not using. This is still using the CLI. Yes. That's still using the CLI, and I think that might be the problem. <laughs> so, <clears throat> 10 sec router. So let's do this. CD, let's go back to our code splitting example. Routetree.gen, clearly wrong. Um, so let's come back here and instead of doing that, let's just do TSR generate. Of course, TSR is not found. Um, let's do this. Is that's no packages router CLI I don't believe you I don't believe that that actually have worked Routes processing. Okay, let's just do this. Goodbye, route tree. Generate. I can't believe this. Okay, so something is going on up in here. Uh oh. My dog just got into something. Let's go see what she did. Chewing on something, chewing on one of the kids' toys. Not supposed to be doing that. Let's see. <coughs> Okie dokie. So, what do we have going on here? Has no exported member route. What? Post 
postloader import import route as postloader import oh it's because I need true there we go okay still flat still wrong Okay, I'm just going to change this back. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. <coughs> All right. So this is coming from So posts and post posts and post ID are they're supposed to be nested because they don't have this uh, thing to opt them out of that. So that's one of the problems. The layout route is still working. So I think one of the reasons that so one of the reasons that it wasn't working is that I took this layout and I, I did dot component, right? And then export const component. So this would be code split, essentially. That's, that's what I wanted. Um, but then you regenerate Yeah, and it's like route. There's no route coming out of. <coughs> There's no route coming out of component. So what's the deal? Oh, we, this is out of date. Okay. So. There we go. Okay, but now now nothing is nesting, right? So this this is the one of the problems. So let's go into generate generator and we are just going to pn well pn dev this and there we go okay so Well, Mr. Goat, how dare you call me an animal? All right, so here's what's going on. We, let's take a look at our route nodes. So we're recursing, we're doing a bunch of things here. Pre-route nodes, hey, we're doing code splitting, great, blah, 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 blah. So let's console log out our route route nodes and our route tree. Nope, come on. Nope, come on. Well, that's a lie. There we go. <clears throat> All right. A lot of route nodes. Route tree is not working out because the layouts couldn't find the parent layout, so they just got pushed on. And then the layout component came in later and was like, oh, by the way. So, so there's a problem. We're recursing through and we find we're recursing through and we find one of these loaders or components 
and so we set it up there but then it but then the the children of that component actually let's do this uh, console log node route path just what's the order that the route path runs in stop doing that and just do it for me oh my gosh fine let's do this okay so it's picking up that then it's picking up layout which is right except for layout runs inside of here so it doesn't get pushed on but we need it to get pushed on but we don't know if but we don't know if there's going to be a normal like it might find the component first but there could be a normal route coming later A log node. Let's see. This is <clears throat> a piece and node rep route path node parent route path. I don't think it has a parent. <laughs> right, so it finds that out and it's like, oh, it's a piece. And once it's parent, it doesn't have a parent. We kind of need to test that theory a little bit anyway. So we're going to bring this back as layout. Then we're going to duplicate it as layout component. That's going to be the layout component. This is just going to be an empty route because why not? We got to test that. <clears throat> so now it's like, hey, we found we found layout and it's normal. Okay. So piece doesn't always has to have it doesn't always have to have a parent. You could you could just code split out into loader.component and if that's all you have, then that's great. But I think what's happening here is so the component's gonna get sorted after. So if there's a normal layout route, it's gonna get sorted first. So if we hit a piece and it doesn't have a parent. Well, you know, that doesn't make sense either. I'm going to noodle on this for like five minutes. Need a bathroom break. See you back in five minutes.
I was totally muted. Thanks, Danny. No, I was just saying that uh, Swizek upgraded everything from beta 2.8.2 to 1.1.12, and everything just works. It's freaking awesome. And uh, and then Jason Barnes captured a GIF of me on my stream. Not cool, Jason. <clears throat> I do some funny faces every now and then and some weird voices. I think it's just from being comfortable on stream right now. I just, I don't have anything to hide, so I'm just super, it's kind of like peering through, like if, you, if I was at a conference, I would just be like, oh, hi, yeah, nice to meet you, yeah. But when I'm streaming, I'm just like, you're in my house, and I'm just kind of hanging out, so why not be myself? I'm just a weirdo. Well, that's fine. We're all a little bit mad, all right? All right, so here is what, here's what's going on, I think. <coughs> it's a sorting problem, right? We're, we're going through this list of routes, this list of files, and we're like, you have to reparent them, figure things out. So actually, if you look through uh, sorted route nodes. So if you look at the, let's see, multi sort by, we'll use this twice. Sort route nodes. So if we look at the pre route nodes, map dd file path. If we just look at the file paths that pop out of there, this is the order that we're sorting them in. So the sorting is, is pretty good. Like it's sorting things so that as we handle them, they should, like parents should be there by the time we need to handle them. So I think we're okay there. Um, thanks, Jason. Good capture, good capture. I don't even remember making that face, so good job. <clears throat> so then we're, what we're going through, we handle, we're handling these nodes. And so um, in this case, we know that if we hit component or loader, if there was already a parent route, it's, it's gonna be there. What, well, that's technically not true because of right here. So that means we need to update our sorting. So sort route nodes. Um, so yeah, if it's that, then we put it to the end. We're doing that by length. So these are all just like tiebreakers. If it ends with that, um, we got to do another one where the route path includes dot route has got to go above. So now we got to console log that again. Console log pre route nodes. No. Map. The original. <clears throat> nope, I'm too fast for my compiler. So okay, so here we go. Uh, route. We need route to be before component and loader. That's what we need. So that's obviously not working. If the route path includes route, well, the route path isn't going to include route. Sort route nodes, pre route nodes, get route nodes. Okay, let's not map anything. Let's just look at it raw. Route path, file path. Yeah, we don't want route path. We want file.
Oh, negative one and one. Other way around. I think. The heck? Well, that doesn't make sense. Negative one and one, they both do the same thing. Maybe we need to move that up. Tanner, is there a way to get type safety in a code split loader? Try using the loader context and it just wouldn't work. Type safety in a code split loader? Yeah. You can do that. We're doing that right here. This loader right here is code split. And it's grabbing types from the route. So when you say type safety from a code split loader, like what what do you mean type safety? What do, what do you want to be type safe? Do you want the params, the depths? Because it all should be there. Like this is a this is a type safe loader that's pulling from this parent or from this route, which is technically this right here that we've defined standard test that's pulling on this file route that is the parent or that is a child of post. Well, it should be eventually when we get it get it right. Um, so yeah, they they are type safe. I'm just wondering. <clears throat> I'm assuming that you're seeing something that's not type safe. So <clears throat> I'm not using the file based router though to get type safety in a code split loader. Well, yeah, you can do that, but you're basically just going to end up setting up the same exact stuff that's in the code split, like in the, the route generator. Like you have to have, <clears throat> you have to have an interface that you can reference the preloader routes and the parent routes for all of the routes by path. That's how you have to do it. TypeScript files have no idea what file they're in or types. So you have to tell it. Which is why when you come into this loader, you see this. Like, oh, this is uh, this is the file that I'm in. <laughs> so that's how you do it. You'd end up recreating a lot of things that's in the route generator. Like you should just use the route gen. As soon as you want to start doing any kind of like automatic code splitting and lazy loading of things it is so much easier just to use the route generator and it's not like it's trying to be file based routing it is file based routing you know but it's still giving you a lot of control over everything you still have a route object that you get to export <clears throat> and configure and do whatever you want it's just doing some of the heavy lifting for you, the annoying things around, uh, you know, setting lazy function import this and lazy route component that. It would be nice if the route API class would return a type safe context for the loader. The route API class depends on the loader, so we can't do that. It would have to be like a route, a route loader API. And then again, I don't know where, where that would pull from. Like the route, a, the route loader API, like it would be a circular dependency. Um, this stuff in here, this 
file routes by path interface. This is the secret sauce that cuts through the middle of that, of what would normally be a circular dependency in figuring all the types out. Yeah. All right. Okay. So What we have here is it's not getting sorted. File path includes, right? So, I mean, why is it not console log? Yeah, I know. Console log dot 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 is no. Console log is a function. What are you talking about? Okay, so this was the original file structure coming in. Component route loader, and then it's sorting here. So these have to be tiebreakers. So split length. So these right here should be tie breaking down to the route path. Like, I wonder if we just get rid of that for a split second. What does that look like now? Component loader route, CLR. Well, that does make sense. What if we invert it? Route loader component. Okay, that does make sense. Okay. So yes, sort it alphabetically after the fact. That's great. It is getting down there. Uh, but now we have file path includes. And that's because it's not dot route. It could be either. So it's got to be like, it could be like dot or slash, but then it's got to be dot right there. So if it includes that, we gotta bump it. Yeah, we bump it to the top. Okay, so now that we have that, we know that if a route anchor, like a real route anchor exists, it's always going to get hit <clears throat> before a component or loader piece. Hang on a second. So that gives us some guarantees now. If we come down here, we're handling a node going through. So now these are the route paths. Hold on, console log. Okay, 
we're not going to log that out. We're just going to log. Question, can you guys hear my music? I'm just curious. If you can't hear my music, then I'm going to listen to whatever I want. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Okay. Console log driven development. <clears throat> So, okay, we've got this. Now, if we generate, so this is, this is the, uh, right now, no, sweet. Can't hear it. Then I'm gonna listen to whatever I want. If you start to hear my music, you tell me. I just don't want my, just don't want my stream to get taken down. So, Layout, layout, and then we get a piece. Yep. Layout, layout, post. Okay. So I'm actually curious just if we win, if we won with that sorting. We got our layout route back, but that, but we didn't, we didn't actually do our layout thing, did we? Oh yeah, we did. Okay. So we created a, the layout anchor here. So we got that layout. So let's we can just remove this layout now, technically. Um, well, code splitting main. <laughs> Crank that T Swift. Yeah, eventually I'll figure out how to get some way better audio. My audio engineering days are far behind me. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> okay, so so we don't we don't even need dot like the underscore layout route because we can just have the component and it will just it will just work. So if we generate here first, we find layout and it's a piece, so it does that, and then we find these other layout pieces, which means route tree dot gen. Okay, so we have a problem here. This is a parenting issue. So, it's a virtual route. We kind of need to fake the file. And I think that's what we're doing already. So what we do right here is we put the piece in, we put the piece in like loader component, but then we don't push it in until after everything else. I think what we need to do is move this up here. And I had it like this at one point, I, I remember, but I got rid of it. So here's how it's gonna work. Uh, okay, so we, we found a piece we're already inside of our code splitting flag. And then what we do is we already know that. We've already found it. We already have all the pieces. Pieces. We already found that. We already know if it's component or loader because we have the node component or loader is virtual and then we handle the node so we're kind of like we're kind of duplicating it so like we find the node is loader we find this component we say, oh, cool. And then what we need to do is actually, oops, we needed some of that. We needed this copy. 
So what we do is we say if if there isn't a parent route found, then this is a virtual route. So parent parent route we need it to uh, we need finding a parent <clears throat> to work for component and loader pieces because right now there is no parent like if we just get rid of this and we say console log node parent piece oh we're already logging we're already logging that here so it's undefined so the the layout the layout doesn't have a parent but it needs to have a parent So what we need to do is if we don't find if there is no parent so say if the node parent if it doesn't have a parent that means that We might run into some edge cases here. But if there's not a parent, there should always be a parent though. Some complex stuff. If there's not a parent, we need to create one. Wonderful. Gotta turn it down then. I'm just gonna switch to some music that won't get me flagged. Alright, if there isn't a parent, then we need to create one. How do we do that? Um, we basically take well, you basically handle the node. By duplicating this node. Is virtual true? And... So when would that happen? That would happen for this layout. right here well technically if we were handling our routes correctly then the parent of that would be root right So we're not concerned if it has a parent. We're concerned if it has
if it already had a root layout, underscore layout, then we already would have known about it. So we get to this point. <clears throat> we need to know if it doesn't have an anchoring underscore layout component. So if it's a piece underscore component, so what we really need to do is say const anchor route, and this is route nodes find where the D route path equals and this is where we have to do uh, node route path replace and we have to get rid of loader It could be a dot. Wait, does the route path have that in there? No, it doesn't. That's because the route path is getting it removed. So it's just that. Anchor route. Console log. Anchor route. Piece layout anchor and find. Layout anchor. Anchor right there. So post ID had an anchor. When you were starting out in your career, did you practice much leak code? Um, this is kind of embarrassing. I don't even know what that is. What's leak code? So the answer is no. Because I don't even know what that is. Sorry. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like it worked. The anchor worked for... So posts... Post ID has an anchor route right here. If it doesn't, we need to create it. So if there's not an anchor route, we do need to create it. The best way to do that is probably just by calling handle node. Is loader. The route path won't have that anymore. <clears throat> So we don't even need to change it. We just need to say is virtual true. So we do that. Now they have parents. Sweet. So if everything has a parent, it should get parented correctly. So layout component good. Post component route. Post post ID route route. That's a fun one. Post ID route shouldn't get reparented because yeah. Okay. Is reference directly in its own type annotation? Preload route. Post post ID route import.
programming mental exercises, a bunch of algorithmic programming challenges, reverse a string efficiently. Yeah, no. <laughs> Guess what I've never had to interview for a front-end developer job. An oddly specific question. Why does your mic sound like it's under an oscillating V8 engine on idle? I don't know. <clears throat> Let's look at it. I'm gonna monitor my microphone really quick, so chill out. Hello, 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 hello. I don't know why. Don't they have noise gates that I can use somewhere? Filters. Edit filters. Add filter. Filter type. Noise gate. Sure. Let's put that one right at the beginning. Hello. Hello. Nope. Hello. 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 I don't know if the noise gate is helping, but it seems like it should. No noise, but it cuts the start of my phrases. I can take, I don't, I like have the, I, the open threshold. Hello. Hello. Is it still cutting? Oh, okay. He says it's better. All right. We'll, we'll go with that. I got to stop monitoring. It's, I cannot stand to hear myself in an echo. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully that helps. Can I still hear myself? No. Okay. I'm good. Cool. Hopefully that means that I can like listen to my music a little bit more. <clears throat> All right. So what do we have here? Post component route implicitly has any because it's referenced in itself. Post component route. Hmm. Post component route. Post component. Why is it a route? Post component import. So post component route is, it's just a component. I don't understand posts. Oh, okay, so I have a post loader as well. So it's just posts. And then post ID goes off of that. And then right here, post preloader route post post ID route import 
parent route post component. So if I get rid of this. That's the circular dependency. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of uh, like there's iPhone apps that do that that will like give you a delay. You put headphones on and you try and talk, and it just makes you really weird. Okay, this is this is weird. So. Post component route, post component import. That should work fine. Post component route is using the post component import. Posts preloader route is using the import, not the route, not the route, which is right. And then um, preloader route, post post ID route import. That's what I want. So why is, is it the loader? So posts loader is somehow using post, post ID. Look at post loader. So file route loader, so post loader Referencing posts, which is right here. How does that have anything to do with this? It is clipping, isn't it? You know what? We're going to take it off. It's just annoying. Goodbye, noise gate. My phone is like not even by me right now, so don't worry about it. Okay, I'm not, I'll figure the audio out later. I'm just keeping it as it is right now. Um, unless I, I guess I could monitor really quick in my headphones just to see what everybody else is hearing. Yeah, that's pretty special. What is that? Hmm? Hello? 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 Hmm. Compressor. 
the compressor's freaking out. How about that? Can you hear me better? You can hear like this little Yeah, you can hear it a little bit. But I think I think I got it. The compressor was like bringing up the low sounds. The really quiet sounds a lot. There's still a little bit of noise, but I feel like it's okay. Does that sound better? Yeah, I feel like that's better. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. How about now? Hello? audio I used to be in audio engineering believe it or not and now I'm just to the point where I don't care anymore how's that how about that does sound a little bit better for me. I turned my gain down a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's sufficient for now. Now it's really quiet. God. Can't figure this out. I'll figure it out later. All right. Here's a test from over here. And here's a test right by the microphone. Wind tan sec mixer. That's funny. Okay. I think this is a little bit better now. A little bit better now. God, freaking delay. Okay. I got to stop monitoring or I'm going to go crazy. Thanks. Okay. Let's get those off. Let's get back to business here. Okay, let me know again if you can hear my music, because you never know. All right, so there's some there's some type circular dependencies going on here, and I'm not sure why. So post component route. We short circuit it right here. It's got to be the parent route. It's not. Is it is it both of these or just one of them? Yeah, it's both of them. Okay, so the post ID post ID route is depending on the parent route of post component route. What if I just change this to like root route? Does it go away? Of course it does. Okay. So that means post component route. If I get rid of that loader, still doesn't go away. Wait, wait. Post component route is right here. If I get rid of that loader, the error goes away. Okay. So that means the loader, the posts loader, is what's causing the type, the circular type reference. 
So if we update the, lo the loader with post loader, so that means post loader is somehow depending on, let's open up the post loader. Just bring it over here. Post loader, it's file route loader. File route loader is very simple type. T route has a circular constraint. File route loader. Okay, let's go to file route. Now that circular constraint in there was just because it's part of the chain that's freaking out here. It should be fine here, but the way that it works is we get the file routes by path, which is right back down here. We grab the file path, which in this case was posts. Then we grab the preloader route, which was post component import. Posts component import. File route posts create route. I don't see anything wrong here. Why is this being so weird? Loader. File route posts. <laughs> so we just gotta follow the chain all the way around. <laughs> So the loader, so file route loader post so comes in here. So that means, okay, so post component import root route. That's correct. It's gotta be root route. It doesn't make any sense. So if I get rid of both of those, it's still dead. File route loader posts post component import Maybe you guys can think on this for a second while I go get my dog.
I was muted. Thanks, Danny. So, loader somehow is referencing posts component route. That's that's all I can gather from this. Update doesn't do anything type-wise, but update loader does. So post component route file out router goes down to posts. Post component import but now post component route doesn't have the type safety of what loader returns. File route loader references posts. Which is so weird. Because it's not, it has nothing to do with these. If we get rid of this. Now this is like, oh, it's not assignable. It's fine. That's not assignable either. Post component route. Post component route is just the route that was created from the posts component posts component import so we're just creating a posts route here It has to have the full type safety before it goes into the file routes by path. Post, post, post component route. parent route reference.
Does this happen if we do it over here as well? Like what if we just get rid of that? Does it freak out again? Try something else. Why is it not finding that layout B test component? Found it right here. Something's off. I think we just need to figure out why this is not generating something like this either. Yeah, that I know about, that I know about. <clears throat> Route. Yes, I get that. Okay, but why is it not finding layout B? Layout B test. All right, let's dive in. We've got, wait, maybe it is, and I just had an outdated. Okay, it was. <coughs> just had a little outdated file down there they needed to uh, get out of. So it is finding that, so it's creating file well, route, create route. Update path test, layout, layout, B route. Sweet. That looks like it's working out. And children, that looks like it's all working out. Okay, so did find that. It's just this post loader garbage. God, this is a mind bender. Anyone have any ideas? <laughs> How 
how is it referenced in its own initializer? Obviously it's referenced in its initializer because of loader somehow. But when I pull up loader, when I pull up the loader, then it's just calling file route loader from posts, which is right. File route loader posts. I wonder if it's because we are mixing preloader routes. with the normal ones. <laughs> I'm <clears throat> I'm willing to find out if that's the case. So there's really only one way to find out. So instead of file routes by path, we're going to have file loader routes by path. Which is going to be preloader route and then in the generator okay so here we go let's go back to file route instead of file routes by path it's going to be file loader routes by path preloader route and then so that's going to make dot loader janky because it's going to be like, oh, there's nothing there. Can't use it. Yes, I know. It doesn't exist yet. <clears throat> and then, sorry, I got to make it small for a second. And then we've got to do, I guess I don't have to make it small. I can just go like that. Then we've got to come to the generator and where we are building this preloader route route types. Why? Let's just do this. We don't need to have everything separate. There's no route config. It's just route imports. It's already been joined. Perfect. Okay then here instead of doing it all on the same one we'll do another one file loader routes by path We'll get rid of this one up here and get rid of that one down there. Now we should have two separate. Two separate. Okay. Yeah, instead of mixing them all together. But see, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we mix them together or not. Preloader route is referenced directly or indirectly in some type annotation.
get rid of that. And it works. Except for post post ID now. Yeah, now the loader over here isn't gonna work. Because it's like, hey, I'm trying to grab this from this file, but then post ID does not exist on type unknown. Doesn't exist on type unknown because the preloader route was pointing to post post ID route import. What if we get rid of that? Nope, still an issue. So post post ID route import is coming from here. So let's bring that back in. So if we break this chain, post ID. And that goes to post component route, which then goes to this, which is then using this same interface again. That, that is the problem. It's just that the interfaces are together anyway. How is this not showing up in other projects? It's because I didn't split them up yet. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, preloader route. Okay, so here's a question. Could these just be like clear module interface tanner? What about like? I can't I can't declare type that's not already there. Declare module has a grounded interface. It does it won't declaration merge because I need to be able to access it inside of here. This was working. <laughs> like, I don't understand why this is not working anymore. It's so strange. We shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> it's not going to make a difference anyway, even if we did it. So, we'll get rid of that. Go back to regular 
mode. Can you just slap an as con as const on there? I'm an average type screw, so I don't know all things. An as const. <clears throat> well, no. You mean like right here? Yeah, because it's like it has to be a literal. You can't use satisfies. We want the inference. So No, you can't really do that on the interfaces. There's no as const here because we're already in types. We're already in type land here. We're not in uh, like JavaScript. So file route loader is utilizing this right here to get the preloader route. Not that this should matter, but let's make sure that ordering is correct. So this right here is saying, give me, give me the preloader route for posts, which is a post component import as the parent. So post component import sits right here. It's not the actual route. It's the one before because we're defining the loader here. So loader just needs to this is we're just trying to grab the parent types. the parent types of loader posts which we have in post component import I wonder if we did this wait No. It's post component import. Check that out. Root route. Post component import. It's using file route. So
Not that. So it's where hmm. I got to think about this for a second. I'll be right back. bugging this is really bugging it's got to be where this route's going this route is going into is it is it because of that no Post component route is going into funny face moment. Yeah, sure. It's going into the route tree. No, doesn't care. It's just right there. It's that it's going into that as the parent route. Post component route. The only other way to potentially do this is to do some more interesting code gen where Instead of trying to go into the same interface, 
we just export types directly from this file from the route tree.gen file. And we have to reference those types directly. Oh, that would suck so bad. Because that means all of your routes wouldn't just be able to use file route loader. They'd have to like import some specific thing from this route gen file. The heck, that's so weird. <clears throat> What if file route loader sidestepped the interface? What if it went straight to an import? <coughs> like this needs the parent route is in here. Can't because you're actually creating the routes. Oh my gosh, that sucks too. No, you can't do that either. How was this working before? That's what I want to know. Is it because I didn't have layout in a component? I just had it in the layout? Okay, so layout is back in. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, got an idea. Generating this. Let's just let's just stash all of this. And let's go back in time. So we're here. It's regenerating, but it's doing some different stuff now.
What is it doing different now? It's saying the post post ID route. What is this? Well, that was clearly wrong. That parent route type of root route right there. <coughs> so, that's clearly wrong. We gotta go back in time some more. So we went back to this. This is clearly wrong because the post post ID route is not underneath the post route. So let's go back even further. Nope. Let's go back to even before, let's see, let's go back to here. So now it's back to the way that it should have been. It's like it's back to the right nesting. But we're not doing any loader stuff. Are we? So I could do it here. So the way that it was working with the loader here was correct. I'm saying file route loader. Route tree gen. So this worked right here. What did this not, what did this have that the other one doesn't? It's so weird. I'm going to stash this. Hold on. Okay, so the V1 one seven so let's come up to this one obviously not right we got to check out our stash don't delete it Okay, let's get rid of this test component thing. Ah, come back to our route tree. Okay, what is different between these files? What is it? P 
post route post import. So, no, get out of here. So we didn't have a loader on post, so yes. But we did. We did have a loader. Where's the post index route? The heck? Is it even in here? No? Where is it? Posts. Post loader component. I must have gotten rid of post index. My bad. Post index. <laughs> Sorry. Regen. Well, no. All right. That's not right. Post index route is supposed to be a child of post component route. But other than that, so post ID was pulling from posts route. Post. Yeah, I just don't even have that. That's okay though. Post import. So when it was quote unquote working, I wasn't updating the loader at all. You didn't get the loader type. That's right, because I added that later. Yeah. So that's what it is. So let's see. So if we go back to 117, actually no, 
Well, this is just all wrong now, isn't it? Looks like the only way to go is forward. Up. What is it doing? There. Okay. Okay, well, I guess the only way to go is forward. So, we just gotta figure this out. So, let's get the post index route positioned correctly. That's a problem. So most likely that is a sort it's a sort problem that uh let's see posts yeah get this piece of stuff out of here. Managed to catch a live stream. Is it possible to use nested routing as such? Post. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yes, it is. Oh, hang on. My wife's calling.
All right, well. Oh, Sean asked, is testing out with a new code splitting fly or whatever reason it wasn't bubbling up to the outlet in the root component? Yeah, I know. I mean, we just discovered a bug right there with the uh, the experimental stuff. So it makes sense why you're experiencing that. Yeah, we're fixing that right now. Um, my wife's on her way home. I'm going to start making some lunch for the family. So that means it's time to go. But I will continue to work on this, and hopefully we can get the new experimental stuff working. I think it'd be really cool if we could do that. So especially where it's all type safe. Really crazy. So thanks for hanging out with me. I know that was a long one. This three hours, 20 minutes about. So yeah, appreciate it. We'll see you next time.